Naughty Dog is one of the greatest and most talented video game companies of all time. They have continued to push the boundaries of game development and have learned to tell some of the most compelling and heart-wrenching stories ever. They've elevated the entire gaming medium. And their gameplay is so satisfying and smooth and always manages to capture the tone and tenor of the game world. They are truly a cut above. But despite all this, there's one thing that Naughty Dog really doesn't seem to have figured out. Something that in many ways actually threatens to undermine and even damage their otherwise pristine reputation. Dr. Pooplov here, and today I want to talk about communication at Naughty Dog, or, well, lack thereof, and why I think it needs to desperately improve. And in this video, look, I'm going to be pretty hard on Naughty Dog because I think they deserve it this time. But stick around to the end because I do want to offer some hope and not leave on such a negative note. So let's get right into it. And the first problem I see is that Naughty Dog is not really doing enough to set proper expectations. And there's no greater example of this than the Factions 2 saga. After learning that a multiplayer mode was not coming to The Last of Us Part 2, but would be something completely separate, fans spent years in the dark, confused at what we should be expecting and when we should expect it. And although Naughty Dog has said in the past that they don't really like to talk about games until they are close to ready, the strategy really couldn't apply to this game because it was still so closely tied to promises from The Last of Us Part Two, a game that was announced in 2016. And so the cat was very far out of the bag. And so after years of silence, at some point Naughty Dog must have realized that they did have to start talking. They had The Last of Us Part One remake and an HBO show to sell and well, how are they going to promote these things while ignoring their previous promise for Factions 2? So, Neil Druckmann started talking about the development of this multiplayer when he took the stage at Summer Games Fest in 2022, and again early in 2023 with a blog post, we received a little bit of concept art and promise for more info this year. And I have to say, this was honestly some pretty good communication. Naughty Dog wasn't ready to reveal the game yet, and that's fine, but because we already know that it's in existence, it's important that they keep us informed at regular intervals and give us the proper heads up about where things are. But the words that they said in this blog post from early this year talked about fun surprises and mentioned the 10 year anniversary in June as a key date. It seemed to heavily hint that we could expect info around this time. And so much of the Naughty Dog community was expecting some big announcements. And it made perfect sense. Ride the hype wave of The Last of Us TV show and announce a multiplayer experience in that same world that can tide fans over until season two and perhaps another single player experience. And this very well might have been the plan, but those plans had to change. We learned from a Jason Schreier article in Bloomberg that production of Factions 2 actually has been scaled back. That an internal review from Sony and Bungie, who has been brought on to assess these live service offerings, revealed that the game was, in their view, not in good shape. That it didn't offer enough longevity for the fans. Probably that there weren't enough microtransactions. And this is certainly some really hard news to take. And the problem here where communication is concerned is when was Naughty Dog planning to actually tell us this? We were all expecting news around this time and there was a PlayStation showcase that basically everyone was expecting Factions 2 to be at. Naughty Dog had, after all, pointed very heavily to this time frame as something fans could look forward to, but they allowed this showcase to go forward without mentioning anything. They didn't set the proper expectations for this time. Now, they did put out this statement right ahead of Jason Schreier's article that explained that they had to delay the game and that they were still working on it, but this was because their hand was forced. This is the kind of statement that should have gone out before this article was even known to them. And now that the article has been out, the statement isn't really sufficient because it doesn't properly explain the context or address anything directly that's being said in Jason Schreier's article. It doesn't really do much to assure the fans that things are in a good place. 
This statement in and of itself is the kind of helpful expectation setting that the community should get. Many would be fine to hear that Naughty Dog needs more time. It's better than stringing us along and giving us false expectations. You know, I'm happy to let the devs take their time and try to make a good product. And so I think if Naughty Dog had communicated this to us earlier ahead of these events, the community would have been a lot more understanding and would have been a little bit more positive about this news. But given that this statement came out as a means to try to do some sort of damage control because of Jason Schreier's very damaging article, it leaves fans in a place of confusion and a lot of negative feelings. I mean, up until this point, we all thought this game was in great shape. We had heard how ambitious it was. We had heard how much fun it was, and no one was really expecting any of this. And now we don't really know what to expect. We don't really know how to read this news. Are things okay or not? And what's frustrating is that Naughty Dog really had a perfect opportunity to correct the record at the 10 year anniversary and assure fans as to what can be expected. They did do the right thing at the beginning of this day in saying that don't expect any game development updates today. That is the kind of thing that they should be doing if they're not planning to talk about it. But ultimately given the situation, this is really the wrong move. Factions fans are really nervous. We don't know what to expect now. We don't know whether Naughty Dog's statement was just damage control or the legitimate truth. And what does this news about a scaled down team mean? Is the game getting pared down to be something less ambitious? Or is it just that the lead developers need some time to redesign and the team will ramp back up? Or is it the worst possible outcome that we really don't want. Now, while I personally don't think this game is canceled, how can I blame anyone for thinking it is at this point? I mean, Naughty Dog had just begun this cadence of talking about the multiplayer just a little bit at The Last of Us Day, at other major dates, at regular intervals. But now, after this very scary news, they're silent. I mean, what should our expectations be? And the thing is, this leads me to the next problem as well. And that is that Naughty Dog doesn't really do anything to take control over their own narrative. In this case, as I said, they had an opportunity to correct the record. They had an opportunity to give more context to Jason's story, but instead they just gave a very vague statement that doesn't seem to refute any of the reporting and actually just seems to try to distract from it by saying single player. We know a single player is in the works. This is not news. And honestly, I don't appreciate trying to distract us in this moment. They needed to be more transparent. They needed to give us a little bit more of the full story. And Naughty Dog had the 10 year anniversary, which was the perfect opportunity to reset all the negative sentiments going around about this game. They could have issued another blog post that reframed things and they didn't have to include any new information. All they had to do was reiterate what they've already said, reiterate their commitment to the games that they said they're working on so that fans can have some assurance that things are still okay. Instead, the most we got was Neil Druckmann saying, hey, more Tilu content coming your way, which literally could mean anything. And part of the problem here is what they're doing is they're allowing a narrative to exist that Naughty Dog is in disarray and that their multiplayer game either will suck or is canceled. I'm not saying those things are true, but they are allowing that narrative to exist without doing anything to refute it. And they could do so much on the communication front to just simply reset those arguments and reframe the situation. And this is also not a new thing for Naughty Dog. They've made the same mistake before. Just last year when The Last of Us remake was getting leaked and there was tons of complaints about that $70 price tag and that Joel wasn't going to be able to dodge or go prone, Naughty Dog just stayed quiet and said nothing. And part of this may have been them trying to stay above the fray, but the reality is they could have done a lot more to defend their decision. They could have explained how adding new movesets would have required such a major overhaul to the gameplay, where it even could have fundamentally altered the story and wouldn't have been true to the Last of Us experience. And they could have defended the price tag, stating that it's meant to be a premium and immersive experience and that this is a critically acclaimed masterpiece after all. But they said nothing and in doing so ultimately they let this narrative exist that this was some sort of a cash grab. But all this seems to be feeding into this notion which is the next problem I want to talk about and that is that Naughty Dog at least 
appears to be very out of touch with their community. Now, like I said, Factions fans are nervous. We don't know what's gonna happen to this game that we've been waiting for for so long. And even if you're a single player fan who's not that interested in this multiplayer outing, you probably see these issues along with this very bad PC port of The Last of Us Remake and get nervous yourself. And you wonder, are things okay at Naughty Dog? Is the next single player experience gonna have any issues too? You have to imagine, Naughty Dog knows that the community has been feeling this way in some respects. So why not take an opportunity, especially this opportunity that was right in your lap, the celebration of the 10 year anniversary and correct the record a little bit. I mean, this was supposed to be a day of celebration, but a lot of us just sat there nervous that maybe when you said nothing, it means things are not okay. And they really could have just done something to help uplift the community spirits that are really just so low right now. Again, it didn't have to be any new information, but simply a reiteration of the past two to three blog posts, showing that they're still committed to this vision for The Last of Us that they told us about before. And it's really just frustrating to see that rather than really addressing these issues with the community, all you see from Naughty Dog are posts, marketing merch, or retweeting fan art. All this stuff is great, but it just puts this feeling in your head that they don't really know what's going on in their own community, what people are talking about and how people are feeling. Faction fans, for instance, have been in super low spirits. I mean, we almost never get acknowledged by Naughty Dog. There's no acts of appreciation for this community that's still here. I know we're not as big as the single player fans, but we're not even retweeted once a month or given any shout outs of any kind. And this is coming from a studio that apparently wants to sell a multiplayer game. You would think that they would be doing at least something to try to cultivate and maintain the audience that is already there rather than just ignoring that they exist. And all these things do a lot of harm to Naughty Dog. They create toxicity. They make people less certain about whether they have it together, whether they are still the premier top studio that we all thought they were. It also makes a lot of fans feel like Naughty Dog doesn't care about them. And ultimately, I think even if everything is totally fine, keeping silence during all these things just really hurts the Naughty Dog brand. But here's the thing, here's the reality. Naughty Dog's communication strategy is just that their communication strategy. And while it has been very disappointing, it doesn't necessarily mean that the games themselves are going to be disappointing. I mean, Naughty Dog's communication has been a problem for years. If you're a multiplayer fan, you know this very well. But Naughty Dog games have still come out and they have still been some of the best, most impressive games ever. And even though it does actually kind of appear like Naughty Dog doesn't care, they actually do care. You can see it in the passion of the devs. You can see it in the attention to detail and the intention that's poured into each one of their games. Naughty Dog even does care about the multiplayer fans too. Naughty Dog decided to make an ambitious, standalone multiplayer title worthy of us fans when they could have just as easily focused on single player only. There is proof out there, but Naughty Dog just doesn't seem to know how to communicate it effectively. So my hope here is that Naughty Dog decides to start embracing transparency. My hope is that they work to try to set the right expectations with their community. I hope that they really just think about how they can take command of a negative narrative and try to squash it before it gets out of hand. And I really hope that they communicate more to show that they actually do have a good pulse on how the community feels and where they stand. I hope that they can give some of their fans assurances that things are actually okay, that Factions hopefully is all right, and that things are going well at the studio. And I hope they do more to outreach to their other communities, especially if they want a live service to work, they need to be doing a lot more than they are. And so why not start now? Naughty Dog still is a top studio, but they really need to find a way to communicate and remind the fans why they are so great. But while we wait to see if Naughty Dog does eventually improve their communication, I have a lot more insight into this recent news with Bungie and Naughty Dog. So you should check this video out that goes over all of that. But otherwise, so long, Pooper Troopers.